um, it, it is interesting in that fa aspect um, because they do have ways for the DM to scale it up and down. Um, oh. And so this is a quest that can easily be overlooked as it is not connected to any of the uh, plot points, though it does have information for the campaign that it could be useful if brought here. And so, um, five miles south of Coney Bear, there's a shrine dedicated to Saurus, god of divination and fate. Many years ago, the shrine's priest, Sears, foresaw a barbarian attack on Car Coneyberry, giving the, the townsfolk time to escape. Not all the townsfolk chose to flee, but those who did went to the shrine and brought much of the town's gold with them. The barbarians eventually tracked the townsfolk to the shrine, besieged it, and slaughtered everyone inside. Now, over the years, many creatures have occupied the shrine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm trying to get signed in right now. All right, no worries. Oh, is it too late? Nope, you're good. I just went over that overview that was in the post, so. Okay, password is my four-digit discord code. Okay. Yep. Um, an old dirt trail stretches from the outskirts of Coneyberry to the shrine. As you approach from the distance, you see a ruin. A ruin stands in the middle of the vast field north of the rocky foothills of the Sword Mountains. An old stone temple with a belfry jutting from its peaked roof is enclosed by stone walls, many sections of which have collapsed. The trail ends at a crumbling gatehouse, the doors of which were sundered long ago. Three of the four towers that once stood at the corners of the outer walls have collapsed. Only the northeast tower remains. And it is about midday at this point. So, um, plenty of visibility. Are there windows in the shrine? Um, this is a building, right? Yes, the shrine is a building, but you do have the outer walls blocking your access to the shrine at this moment. As there is a gatehouse with... Uh, four towers along the uh, at the corners but three of those towers have uh, collapsed for the most part and only the northeast tower stands is the gate still shut or is it open uh, the door to the gatehouse has been sundered uh, and it looks like through the gate there is a um, portcullis that is down It's like a drawbridge, right? Or, uh, no, that's the gate. The thing that comes down and blocks the entrance, right? Yes. The port goes. <clears throat> and I would say you're all pretty perceptive. Um, so you would notice as you start to approach that there is a shadowy figure up upon the one tower that still remains. And I would say you're still about 120 feet out. Oh, I are, we still, that... still, are we I still in theater it. of the mind? Or is uh, it for, for meant to right be showing? Now. Oh, cool. Yep. <laughs> Does the figure look hostile? Um... Go ahead and just let's start with a perception check, and we'll go from there. Just a normal perception check. <laughs> um, from the distance, it's usually it's a pretty good distance, but uh, both of you can make out the shadow <laughs> of what looks to be a bow being held. A bow? Mm-hmm. Is the bone drawn? Like does it does he have the the stature of a drawn bow or is it just normal held? Uh it looks like they're just pacing back and forth with it. 
not like it's drawn, but it looks like it is um, strung. Mm. I don't know. I, I guess we just move forward. I mean, nobody's getting hurt. For now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's about the extent of intelligence my character has. <laughs> mm, I keep my bow at the ready, uh, looking for any reactions, and um, pace forward. All right. With that, the closer I keep you... my my chill chill, chill touch ready. Okay. Uh, as you oh yeah, guys... can I can I ready an action? If he does turn hostile, I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. Okay. Uh, as you guys begin to advance, you see the individual atop the tower bring something to their lips. As you hear a low, um, a low horn being blown. With that, Ooh. there are roars coming from inside the walls. Can I answer the roar with one of my own? Go for it. <laughs> can I can I use it like make it intimidating? Go for your intimidation check. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Carl. I don't think you like roar, and I just. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <sighs> well, Shut up, you cough. You're <laughs> embarrassing us. Oh, what? They were calling for me. <laughs> I answered. I tried to. <laughs> Uh, let me go ahead and pull you guys on over. Oh no. Oh me oh my. Why is there a lizard? <laughs> You guys can go ahead and range yourselves however you would like uh, within the circle. I'm I'm taking lead. I am very very tanky. We cannot arrange. We are paused. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I think. Uh... Who's the the wizard with a bow? Um. I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a death domain cleric right here. And then I also want to go to the front. <laughs> there yeah, we go. That's, that's what I'm trying to do is get to the front. Cause I'm probably, <laughs> probably, we're probably the two tankiest. We got a bunch of, bunch of casters and a rogue. <laughs> what do, what do we have? I haven't looked at everybody's sheet yet. Rogue. Galan, what pure, are you? Pure rogue. Okay, so we have a rogue. What else do we have? We have a deaf and a war domain cleric. And an artificer. Yeah, an artificer. Uh, battlesmith. And a, a, a what? Sorry? A uh, battlesmith artificer. Okay. The two artificers? We get two, okay, two artificers and a, and a sorcerer, don't we? A sorcerer, a sorcerer. an artificer. Uh... A rogue and two clerics. Oh, wait a minute, that's... We have at least party. one squissy. <laughs> Perfectly balanced party. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yep. Okay, who's the lizard? The That's the battle masters, or the artificer battlesmiths. Uh, okay, and then we've got the little dwarf looking, that's a sorcerer. Hmm? And then I see the rogue in the back, and who's the little red guy? That's the artificer. That's the art. Okay. 
yeah. of a regular artificer, and then we got a battle master artificer, which I don't know what that is, but no, 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 no. no. That, so that the, is the... yeah, you can. Uh, the little one with the green spells thing is the Battlesmith Artificer subclass. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Dwarvish guy with the crossbow is the Sorcerer, if I get that right. Okay. And then we have War Domain to the right and Death Domain to the left. Yeah. Why is the Sorcerer at the front? <laughs> yeah, because that's where they Uh, oh well. Yeah. Okay, and then I the think we are ready. <laughs> where did the lizard come from? Did oh, that's up? the steel defender of the artificer. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a construct. That's construct. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So if I can go ahead and get you guys to roll initiative. All right. Off no. Right yes. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Right words. off the bat. Absolutely. Plus what zero. Would <laughs> what would you say to start a fight? Roll <laughs> uh, wait, that means there's space here. There we go. No wonder you would lose the fight. How'd you get a 20.14? <laughs> oh, that's uh, speed. Yeah, oh. the decimal number is your dexterity score. Oh, okay. That's just used to break up tiebreakers and all that good stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I see 14.12. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy fuck! Did I not prepare yeah. enough AoE? No kidding! <laughs> oh, and the 20. What did we run into? <laughs> um, Something you were not prepared for. No kidding! Let me see, what is my best AoE attack? <laughs> I don't right. have one. Well, you guys would be able to see some of them. So you guys would be able to see the orc over in the tower over here. Uh, for le measurements, uh, they're equivalent of here. Okay. But it's just <laughs> different levels. Okay. We got one orc we can see. Yep. And then you, can, some of you can see over here that there's another Looks like fellow. an elephant. Looks like an elephant. Who does not look too friendly. Well, not friendly is guarding bolt, right? Okay, um, the timer. that was more of for yeah for the the one you saw earlier, not for one you came up with. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, me too. All right, let's go ahead and we'll go with Faypine first. Uh, As right in front of you, you have that gatehouse with the broken down door, uh, the portcullis is closed. Um, okay. But there's a hole in the wall over here. I can yep, you got a hole on the wall over here that you can see. Okay. Um, so he's just going to move 30 feet All here. Right. And um, I guess at this point, it's taking the hide action. Okay. Go ahead and make a stealth check then. All right. All right, Teak. All righty, boys. What we get ourselves into? I'm gonna move right here where I can see this target right here. And I'm just gonna like cast fireball since I can see him. Okay. Oh, firebolt. Okay. Yeah, I heard the same thing. <laughs> I was going to say fireball? Oh. No, 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 firebolt. <laughs> That's, I mean, that would be very effective, seeing as we uh, just had a boatload of initiatives. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't see anybody. He just was like, I only see one, guys. I only see one. That's it. All right. Oh, uh, well then. So did he hit him? <laughs> yes. The firebolt did hit. Oh, Surprised that's it didn't play its animation, but it did for me. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, perfect. I didn't. I didn't see it. I guess I can't see him. I it's see when it. depends on where you're looking. It yeah. does it as soon as you uh, click it, and not as you roll it. Okay. I should. I can see it. I guess because I'm. I my character can see it, and I know how Foundry walks. If it works, if I move away, then I won't be able to see it anymore. 
as this other gray-skinned orc starts to march around to the outside. Um, you see them brandish a large great axe, um, but they're not really going to be able to get... Nope, that's about as far as they're going to get because of the difficult terrain right in there. So, yeah, anybody. <laughs> so where uh, is he? He I is going to him. move over. <laughs> oh, that was a stupid move on his part. I don't see nobody and I'm scared. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, this orc, however, is able to see you guys. Oh, yeah. It's the one at the top of the tower. Yep. Did. Oh, interesting. Uh, he is going to take a shot with his short bow. Well, let's find out who, sh who they are shooting at, shall we? All right. I am chosen. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Don't know. That's me. Oh, yeah. No, wait. It, uh, never mind. I'm dumb. What's the range on, what's the <laughs> range on a short bow? Range on is a it a short bow? bow is 80. Okay, so that should be a disadvantage. Yes, staying well, at 300. Either way, that is going to miss Durnor. As the arrow flies and lands at your guys' feet. <laughs> uh, this one. 15, 25. Yeah, that's where they're going to get. That one. That one. All right, Gallon. Okay, um, I'm going to use um, my chill touch All right. to uh, go at the ogre. I'm just arranging the thing. All right. 120 feet. Woohoo! Nice. Yep. Plenty I'm of Pretty range. sure that's what it is. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Chill touch. If you hover your mouse over the uh, creature, you yeah, it's a hundred, hundred and twenty feet. Okay. If you press T nice. over the creature, it'll target them. There you go. Yeah. All right. And then I just roll the dice. And that'll hit. Eighteen. And uh, let's see, where's damage? Oh, normal damage. Yep. There we go. Ten. As you summon that cold spectral hand. Grab a hold of this big fella. Yeah, yeah, because that also does other things to him because... Now he can't regain health. He can't regain health, and I does it also slow him down? Uh, no, it does not. Nope. Okay. It's also, it's if they're on but it, it does more But stuff. it clings to the target. To the... Um, and, it, and then um, I'm going to cast a bonus action. I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Shield of Faith on myself. So right. I use my my holy symbol to do that. All right, make sure you uh, untarget the creature and target yourself for that. Okay, and how do I same target? The... Oh, T. Oh, yep. just. All right, and then shield of faith. Cast a spell. All right, very good. And that should have upped my. Well, it didn't up my my armor class. Should have gone up to twenty. Okay. Well. God damn. Easy fix. We're at 20 now. And that ends my turn. All right. No movement? No, I'll stay right where I'm at. Sounds good. This one is going to go for 10. 15. And you can see there is another individual up on that tower. Aww. Uh, looking out. Yep, they're going to try and take a throw. Yes. All right. Tar what do they do? Targeting Spinel. Uh, Spinel. Spinel. All right. Thank you. And due to um... the range, that is going to be a mess. <laughs> All right. With that, we're going to go ahead and jump over to 
do or no? Or... Uh, first off, I uh, take my steady aim uh, as a bonus action. Okay, so no movement. Uh, and then use my short bow to uh, attack the orc uh, that's closest to the breach right there. All right. Doing so with advantage. Uh, yes. Uh, da -da. uh, uh, da -da. come on. Uh, oh, right. Uh, you don't get to. Adv How do I fold down this, uh, action overlay? It blocks the. Uh, it blocks basically everything. Um, uh, I guess. So oh, okay. go to the uh, wait. token controls and then click on the purple one, which is the uh, Argon Combat HUD toggle. Yeah, okay, no. Uh, I'll take the hit 25 and roll for damage normal. Okay. Uh, plus your sneak attack because you had advantage. Yep. Uh, da -da, free feature, sneak attack. Uh, d d there. Oh, right. That is a total of 20 damage for hit. With that, <laughs> and you guys have slain your that first opponent. <laughs> ends my turn. Alright. Uh, there it is. Oh god. Um, There's a lot going on in the background, apparently, from the flicker. Is. As you see an individual dash across the gatehouse, the portcullis from behind it. Um, that combat tracker just got a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> Oof. Eh, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, One of them dead. You just had to read you. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> this brute doesn't have much of a view. But they also don't care for being hit by spells and whatnot. Uh, they are going to pick up a boulder. I don't know where they are, and now I'm worried. <laughs> they're gonna go for Feypine. Um. Alright, so, target Feypine. Sure, it shows a javelin, but it's a boulder. As it crashes against the wall, crumbling more stone around Feypine, as this thing is going to move a little bit. Yogurt threw a javelin or he threw a boulder? It was a boulder, but boulder that's the only thing I had in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> uh, you mm -hmm. saw it go back around uh, the side of the wall. Okay, so he moved out of sight. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, there's another. <laughs> As Ooh, another one shows up behind is. the gatehouse. And it is going to go ahead and try and rip this gatehouse open. Oh, something I can see! I'm gonna 1v1 it. Uh, with that, the gatehouse just rips. Or the portcullis just rips right open. 
just delete those walls. Goodbye, hard work. <laughs> and with that, it's got that bit of movement left. All right. Araman. Hey. Uh, so Araman would like to move. Uh, You're making You're making measurement. Or, yeah. yeah, OK. Uh, what, what do I exit? How do I exit out of that? Sorry. Left side character. Little little people button, and then you go to your uh, uh yeah. top button. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So Araman will move here, uh, and for his action, cast Sanctuary on Feyplan. Okay. Um. And then, uh, for his bonus action, can you hold a bonus action? Uh, oh, can you? Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so that's his turn. Okay. Uh, if you'll target Feypan and cast Sanctuary, that'd be great. You can also just double right click on whatever you want to target. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and how do I cast Sanctuary? Shift is it? Like that? Should be able to just That's click it. on the uh, die in your character sheet. So if you yeah. hover over Sanctuary, there's a die that will replace the icon on the left side. Yeah, yeah. Because he's not targeted for some reason. So double right click to target and then die yeah. and it's you must yeah it's still target showing token. Up. so if you hover over and press t that'll work as well there okay. you go yep now you can cast sanctuary there you go all right uh for some reason it's asking for a saving throw but really sh oh it's asking me for the saving throw disadvantage because they're gonna allow it <laughs> Two fours. <laughs> I mean, you can also choose to fail the save. Yeah, <laughs> nice. No, <he's> <laughs> yeah, that's why I did it at disadvantage, just to make it so it's likely to fail. All right. This Urge. one. Oh, uh, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harm for spell must make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that yeah. Attacks them. All right. Um. I see big guy, and I think you're coming with me. So I I run in, no regards for my surroundings. And while I do that, I I'm, I'm while I'm running, I call spirit oh. guardians. Okay. That's the measurement. I'll place it, uh, and there you go. And whatever somebody starts their turn or enters the area for the first time on a turn. So that would be my turn as well, right? Um, yeah. So spirit guardians, it's when they begin or end. Or hold up. First time they. An affected creature speed is halved, and if they when they enter the, yeah, for the first time on their turn or start their turn there, they must make a wisdom saving throw, or okay. they take three d eight radiant. So at the yeah. start of their turns, they'll start taking damage. All right, so that is my action. Um, actually, wait. <laughs> ah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I forgot. I don't do have any bonus action. Just the damage stuff. I don't think so. Whoops. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up. You can just cast any bonus action cantrips if you have one. I don't. Oh. Uh, and I didn't check. If I take the dash action, I can make a um, melee attack with my horns. But I didn't take the dash action, I just did my movement. Correct. As uh, two orcs that see you dash into the gatehouse throw javelins at you. Oh, well. They can try. I'll yeah. just charge in and, and basically brace myself for whatever comes. <laughs> yeah. Um, both of which, um, you're charging in a little too fast, so they both missed you. 
as the javelins clatter onto the ground behind you. Um, and Teague just mentioned that uh, our sorcerer apparently got skipped. Teague got skipped? No, he yeah. didn't. He got Sanctuary on the uh, no, Lizard. That was uh, Battlesmith. No. Oh, Teague, you Wait, did get skipped. Yeah, you did. No, you casted Firebolt. No, firebolt. Yeah, you casted, yeah, you did. On the Ogre that was over here. Okay. Yeah, uh, two yep. minutes ago, I it's got skipped and ago. just... I... Is okay. Someone, is there so, someone else who got just... skipped? Nope. No, you didn't Never get mind. everybody. Okay. Nobody got skipped. Okay. We're okay. good. Alright. Um, actually, at that point, Spinel, you would also see this one. So let's make them invisible. Um. Okay, there's that one. This one. Um, they will go ahead and move over here and. Oh. <laughs> Vapen is not in a very good hiding spot. <laughs> not anymore. No. Um, I just realized I could have done something. I'm done. All right. Uh, the orc is going to go ahead and throw a javelin at Feypin after making a wisdom saving throw. Because this is going to go well. Oh, okay. I guess it will. Uh oh. <laughs> didn't you tell you? Didn't it tell you he was a wise bugger? Did I? But he takes half <laughs> damage though, doesn't he? No. Uh, I don't think so. He takes no damage. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And that is going to be their turn. All right, back to the top. Wait, All right. Noana, are, were you taking him for the Spirit Guardians? Uh, They didn't have their turn in there. Nope. It's well, no. just the ones in front of me. Well, no, the, I was just asking, what was he doing a wisdom, wisdom oh, check? Oh, because Fapen, warding. Fapen had Sanctuary on him. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so Fapen, that's 10 feet. Uh, actually, it would be 20 because of difficult terrain right in there. Uh, okay, but he's got 40 total, so you can can he still get here? Uh, so, 10, Or 20, even here, that's fun. 25, 30. Yeah, he's good there. Yeah, cool. Um, and then he'll target probably this guy. Why is he not targeting? See for target, right? Yeah, yep. okay. And force empowered rent. Oof, ouch. That is going yeah. to hurt. You start ripping into this okay. individual. Wait, uh, 10 damage. As Fapen just rips them apart, the sanctuary fading away. Sweet. That's it. Alright. Teak, that is going to be your turn now. Can't hear you. Ooh, poor. Nice. Very good. Nice. <laughs> and I'm just gonna care. All right. All right. Well, we got three of you back here now that they can see. Teak, after that nasty firebolt. The archer up on the tower is going to try and shoot you with his arrows. Short bow. Said distance was 80, and this is more than. So, a 9 is going to miss. Right, we'll go ahead and bring up these guys. Oh, went too far. Uh,. All right, tell me, Spirit Guardian user character, what's your? There you go. I put it in chat. Perfect. Is that gonna roll? I uh, go ahead and oh, it's gonna have you place the template again. Dang it. Nope, I didn't. I just have cleared, deselected that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll the damage if you would please. Okay. Either way, uh, damage. 
No template scene. That's very annoying. It doesn't. Okay, I'll just roll a flat d6. Uh, 3d8. Sorry. 3d8. There you go, 15 damage. Alright, and what is your saving throw? 15. Uh, it fails. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't yeah, say that. Um, sorry. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. Alright. Uh, right, uh, the DC is 14, I think. Alright, good to know. Actually, that one's probably just there. Alright, and then we're looking at Gallon. Okay, um, I'm going to cast uh, Chill Touch there all right and if it hits he gets to hit his buddy too <laughs> hit his buddy <laughs> yeah that's part of the war that's part of the death domain <laughs> um death oh, domain no. feature so chill touch uh nine oh. 15 or no 16 they, 16 yep. that, that does hits. hit Okay, so let me read how that works. And this is okay. Oh, it has a disadvantage on rolls against me, but all right, it's, that's under my features about the hitting the buddy. So yeah, let me I'm go ahead and roll the that. damage. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, he gets 11 damage. Okay, Reaper to Chill Touch, okay. Yeah, does he just take the same damage or do I have to Make roll a, it Make against the creature to us. On hit the creature. Um. Target two creatures within five feet of each other. Um, so it hits. So, if you're able to see them. Well, I can see both of them. So I knew they were both there. That's why I shot there. <laughs> but what? I'm not. I'm only seeing one from your perspective. Well, I can see both of them. I can see the one right next to him on my screen. There's one, the one I targeted, and one right below it. Oh, you targeting targeting Spinel? <laughs> no, no, I'm targeting what? I'm targeting the oak the orc over on the tower. Oh, you're targeting those guys. My bad. I was looking in yeah, the gatehouse. I can't house. see. I can't <laughs> see the. I can't see the other ones yet. Yeah. I'm I'll trying say... to hit the two archers. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and target the other one as well then, and make another oh. attack roll with it. Another attack roll, or yep. it just automatically hits. Another attack. I thought it automatically hit. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Hold on. Let me get back to my spell book. Okay. Uh. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five hits for damage. sure. And all, but I only did seven damage to him that time. Okay. So I did fifteen to one. How do you do that? how are we doing on the one one over there? The one on top. Still there. Just barely He's hanging. Still there? Yeah. Damn. They're they getting a they're getting a lot of hit points for being orcs. I know. <laughs> I roll I do roll hit dice. Alright, I'm gonna roll I'm Oof. gonna move I'm going to move to here if I can get the guy to move. Yeah, it looks like you're on uh, something to measure. I didn't think I was. Uh, okay, we'll try it again. I'm going there we to go. Move to here, and at least I can see something. Let's see. That was 20 feet. Then I'm going to move back one. Okay. I still don't see anyone. Okay, so I see that's it. And then uh, bonus actions. I don't think I'm going to take any bonus actions this time. Okay. Uh, let me double check my spells before I say I'm done. Spells, because that's where all my bonus actions are. Uh, bonus actions. Healing word, shield of faith. I've already used that. Oh, yes. I want to cast a spiritual weapon. Oh, or no, right. I don't. 
No, I don't. I want to hold on to that one okay. until I can see a whole bunch more. <laughs> In that case. Yeah, I'm done. Head over to this orc, the second one that you had just hit. Uh, they are no longer really able to see you, so they're going to be targeting one of these two individuals. We're hanging back. Again, Who keeps throwing squares? Teak, targeting you. They are going to throw a javelin. That's a long way for a javelin. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why it's going to miss. Falling short. Uh, Durnor. Once again, I... St uh, take a steady aim, feet planted into the ground. As I take the, or uh, as I aim for the orc, who stands in the same spot where the other one died before. Apparently, they are not that smart. Three dice. Wow. <laughs> Three dice. Yeah, that's my elven accuracy. Okay. Oh, With sneak attack, that's nineteen damage on that one behind the wall. And that will do. More than enough damage. Yeah, apparently that is a very lethal spot for orcs. I hope they all stand there at one po at some point. <laughs> and with that, I end my turn. Okay. I need another wisdom saving throw. From the next one. From which... actually, uh, well, we'll get to it. Don't worry. Uh, that one. All right. Wisdom saving throw. Yes. This fella here. You should know by now this is their best stat. <laughs> Not really. Clearly. <laughs> uh, That's 10 damage. 10 damage. Who keeps drawing blue squares? Yeah. How do you clear them? Uh, you hover over them and then delete. Yeah, oh, okay. you can also, also make sure you get off the measuring tool. Yeah. As this orc is going to squeeze past the ogre. Oh, wait, they've got half movement. Five. So 10, 20, 30. That's as far as they can get. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right. They're going to throw a javelin. Because that's all they got. They can certainly try. Wait, do, I do you want to use a reaction? No. All right. As that javelin yep. is going to embed itself at grazing your uh, skin for nine points of piercing damage. And that's going to be oh, well. a constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm... I got that, I got that, there we go, saving throw, normal. Alright, main it. Easy. Uh, this one, he's going to bring up his battle axe as he is going to approach Faithen. Okay, cool. Finally. <laughs> and that is going to be 17 to bring down his great axe, slashing into Faithen for 10 points of damage. This one is going to probably become visible at this moment. So they're going to come charging around the corner. Looks like they can only see Faepin just barely. Um, this one is going to pick up a rock. And, oh, there you go. Pick up a rock and... 35, 40 feet. Oh. It's not the brightest, but it's who you can see. He's going for Gallon. Ooh, another one within line of sight. Doing so, yeah, I don't know. Disadvantage. An eleven is going to miss as a yeah, boulder comes crashing point. in the rubble <laughs> around you. There we go. 
this feller is going to come charging around the corner. Oh, that's the next target. Uh, and he is going to launch his rock. Oh, well, it's one of you two. I guess he's not going to be that stupid. Gallon again. Ooh, they don't like you, Gallon. I Which... can understand. I think Faypine took too much damage. But he missed. Ten points. Should be at... Uh... Ooh, he should only be... Like 25? Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, because his stat sheet, sheet didn't get switched, apparently. Oh. 35, 35. Okay. Yeah, the, that max HP keeps switching on him. Interesting. Wants him to die. 25, alright. And it keeps changing. Wow. Okay. Shut up. All right. Let's go ahead and on to this other one. Uh, wisdom saving throw to start us off. They are very good <laughs> at this wisdom stuff. But damage is not too much of an issue. Um, what is going to be the issue? is this great club that he's going to bring down upon you. No, don't use my reaction. Oh, no! Uh, that's an over constitution check. Yep, constitution saving throw. I don't know why it doesn't have you. There we go. Get that back on you. So oh god, I'm getting it. hurt. Yeah, Spinel, you need any help? <laughs> no, I'm fine! <laughs> I got this, I got this! Alright, there. That means. If you fuck it. Aramid. If you say so. I mean, I'm also loaded with, with healing spells. Not gonna use them, but I have them! <laughs> uh, you're gonna have problems Aramid. going through the walls there. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, Aramid wants to take cover just behind this wall if you can um and cast our uh, fairy fire so it gets uh most of these fellas okay. here a 20 foot cube um i think that will that should get those three okay go ahead and um go ahead and cast the spell and then yeah. when the template pops out that should highlight oh yeah oh no i can only get two of them okay cool um get those two and uh, use his crossbow against the. Sorry. Oh, I have a deck shaving throw because I'm in there. Yep. Uh. Succeed, succeed, and only the large ogre failed the saving throw. Okay, shit. Sorry. Um, and then um, use his crossbow against the large ogre. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna abuse that. <laughs> there you go. Ouch. Yeah. Um. Uh, now, damage. real quick, fairy fire was an action. So I get two. Um, as I get two actions as part of my uh, artifice, a so fifth level, I think. Uh, fifth uh, level gets you the attack? extra attack. So if you take the attack uh, action. If you take okay. the attack action, you get two attacks, but you don't get two actions. Yep. Oh, got two you. actions. <laughs> the action economy is busted. <laughs> Holy Un fuck. <laughs> unless, unless you have a feature that says you can uh, replace one of your attacks with, for example, counter spell, etc. No, I don't think. Okay. Um, okay, that's cool. And can I... As a bonus action, um, so I'll ignore the crossbow. Yeah. One. And um, am I in cover there? I guess. Um. From some enemies. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's as far as I can tell. That's it. All right. Uh, the 
this guy. All right, you ready for a speed run? Oh, fuck, there's more. No. <laughs> All right. Now it's your turn. All right, there we go. Um, so we're going to start off with a funky little guy to bolt at second level of the guy that I have advantage against because he's right in front of me and fairy lighted. Okay, so that would make it a straight roll. That would make it. Oh, that would make it straight roll. Yeah, because you're in uh, melee range with them. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Fuck. You roll two yep. fives, so. Yep. We'll go with it. So no damage. And yeah, I'm it does damage. Cost... It... Oh, it misses. It, uh, you're right. It missed. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon. Why is that rolling? Uh, oh, because you're normal it with it targeting. Oh yeah, targeted. Does it allow me to target immediately? Yes. You can cancel. Okay, cool. Uh, then it's a normal hit. It doesn't give me a measurement. But yeah, it's basically floating to the uh, to the right of me. All right, perfect. Uh, that's my action, bonus action, and I'm not going to use movement. All right. A minute. Two minutes. I, I did it under a minute. Oh, wrong one. Go here. As a third figure shows up at the top. And oh. They're going to go ahead and throw a javelin out at Durnor. I'm going to need to figure out how to Unless they get really lucky. Yeah, Not thought surprised. so. All right. <laughs> Not surprised at all. There's that one. Hmm. All right, back to the top. Um, yeah, what happened to Teague? Oh, there he is. Oh, Faye Pine. There's the first. That one. Faye Pine. Hello? Oh, sorry, Mike was off. Um, Faypine moves up here. and All right, uh, so that would provoke an opportunity attack from the orc that was right in front of him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, um... Nice. You there? Yep. Yeah. So. Fay Pine? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, as his bonus action, he'll repair. Oh, wow. Looking <laughs> into that guy. Uh, repair is an action as well. Uh, yeah, and there's a heal. Oh, yeah, it's an action. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yep. So it's okay. That's it. All right. With that, we're going over to Teague. Hey, I'm going to move down 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, man, my archer not then... shoot you anymore. I get the orge. <sighs> Second level scorching ray. Okay. I'm gonna hit him. That's oh, one. What the fuck? He's in a five. Jesus. Five. Oh, I'm gonna that is. Oh, he's dead. Wait, how many yeah. beams do you have? Scorching you get ray. three. Three. And then that's it. Yeah. Wait, you said it's sec oh, yeah, wait no base level second level. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. That should hit with the mild surge. Two natural right. ones. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
All right. Well, you're the only one left out there, Donor. Actually, wouldn't the Scorching Ray hit? Because, uh, what's the Wild Magic Search check? Oh, never mind. Figure it out. Uh, yeah. Uncanny dodge. So taking half damage. Um, there we go. That's oh, three. He actually yep. hit the oh. short bow. Oh, yep. Damn. <laughs> I just realized something that I forgot to do. Uh, who? The one on the tower, or yep, where? The one on the, the tower. The... tower. Yeah, with he hit with the. Uh, with disadvantage, he hit with his short bow. <laughs> Possibly. All right. Not saying that it's impossible. Yeah, rogues aren't known to have the highest armor class, after all. Yeah. True. Okay. Um, all right, Gallant. This ogre right here. Is he damaged? Yes. Okay. He's almost wounded at this point. All right, I am going to cast Toll the Bell. Ah, Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead, yes. Where's my... Oh, cantrips. Why don't they show up? Oh, that's because I've got bonus action. Okay. Toll the Dead. Okay, I have to target him. And I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on him. All right. And do versatile damage, please. Do a what? The uh, versatile. Because oh, he's already oh. taken damage. Okay, cause, well, it's, uh, all it gives me is normal. Situational oh, bonus. So go ahead and close that box and then hit the versatile for the damage where's, instead. Where's the, where's the versatile? Is it on the... So in the chat log. Oh. Chat log. Oh, versatile. Okay. There we go. Okay, so roll that. Yep. 2d12 plus, what's the bonus? I don't think there's a bonus. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so it does 12 damage. All right. And then I'm going to move uh, 30 feet, whatever. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet. And I'm going to cast my um, spiritual weapon. All right. My bonus action. Has a range so, of 60 feet, so you got plenty of range there. Yeah, I got to get to it. Uh, spiritual weapon, and I'm going to target the same <laughs> same guy. So Fair. cast the spell. Oh, I missed. Damn. But it hangs out right next to him. All right. Right here. Right right here. All right. Um, I'm going to just do this. This is probably way out of scale. Yep. All right. Spiritual weapon number one. And yours is probably going to be sword of sorts. It would be a hammer. Hammer? Hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine be a warhammer. Right. No, mine would be a warhammer. <laughs> well, so would mine. <laughs> oh, fine, both of you. Well, yeah. Copy. I mean, he does force damage or bludgeoning damage. Actually, I want it, it does right force there. damage. Oh, force damage. Yeah. All right. Okay. With that, yeah, they can see both of you. Let's see who they're targeting as. Who's who's targeting me? The ogre. One of the ogres is throwing a javelin from the tower. An ogre or an the orc? orcs? Orc. My bad. An orc. <laughs> ogre throwing a javelin. Oh, God. He missed. That's, that's more like a ballista, right? Isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I take aim at the ogre coming from my right, 
the one to the left here yep. by, uh, by uh, on the ass. And uh, da, da. see if that works. Oh yeah, that'll hit. Plus, uh, da, da. normal sneak attack. That's eleven damage total. All right. Not looking too good at this point. With that, I already end my turn. Okay. There's that one. This one needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Fourteen. That's a DC. All right, so half damage. For eight. No, where are you going? Get back here. So minus eight to your hit points. He's gonna make one final attempt to try and stop you as you keep on using this magic to hurt them. So you can certainly points. try. <laughs> um Oh and your armor class is back down to eighteen. Okay. Oh, I've been at the... Yeah. Because of Shield of Faith dropping. Or no, somebody uh, that... else. Shield no, of Faith. Yeah, that was somebody else. Yep. I got the Shield of Faith and mine's at 20. <laughs> yep. Alright. They gotta stop you. They're charging in. Uh, go ahead and roll that 3d8 again, if you would. Yeah, we'll oh, see. can't I keep the 16? <laughs> uh, they're gonna fail their save. Oh no, yeah, I don't yeah, want to keep can, 16! Can... <laughs> it's one of Max! <laughs> That's they just charge and dying at your feet. Alright. Oof. <laughs> he kind of just barrels to watch me, and as he enters the area, his, his legs just fail and he falls face first into the mud. <laughs> right. This one's not going to make the same mistake. This one's going to go ahead and throw a javelin at you. He can certainly try. Uh, 17 is still going to miss, though. There are so many javelins all over this place. <laughs> this fella here. Oh. Let's see here. How much? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what he's doing. He's charging up to the gatehouse, and you see, at the last minute, this large ogre lower his shoulder. As he rams into the pillar that's still holding the gatehouse up, as you feel dust particles falling from the ceiling as he rams into it. Uh, uh oh. Which golem where? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's one to the left here. Oh, okay. No, I don't see that one. Would he enter my area with that? I would say just enough. So go ahead and roll your 3d8 and he's going to make his... He's going to fail his saving throw. I can tell you that right now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Level <laughs> damage. There is this house rule that I've pl uh, played with uh, on many rounds where a fail on a save is a critical on the effect. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a natural one, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, is it minus one it, or something? It's not a natural one, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm glad <laughs> it would be red, I think. Yeah. Actually, but, yeah. yeah. I think mine are sanitized, though, so it doesn't show it. Uh, I am. Um, Alright, for this fella here, though. Well, yeah, he's going to see. Oh, he does not like you, Gallon. Well, he's been trying. <laughs> As he is going to keep charging forward. I don't know. No, oh, he, he got into that circle. Oh, Philly. 
Oh, oh, is that another one? No, yeah. I never did say they were the most intelligent of creatures. <laughs> oh, Only eight. Yeah, Teak, you're right. Uh, rules is written that that's true, but there are some people that play house rules with that. All right. Oof. All right. So he's, he's getting really, really bloody, I take it. Yes, he is very bloodied at this point, um, but he cannot reach... Um, Gallon, so he is going after Teague with his great club. Is that Teague? No, that's not Teague. That's. Aramin. I can't oh, see that, You're right, that's not Teague. That is Aramin. And he missed anyway. <laughs> yep, he sure did. Okay. Um, um, this feller here uh, is going to come into view, uh, but not really have anything to do, so he's going to dash up. Seeing that there's actually a threat. Airman. Okay. Um, so Airman, I think he's going to just try and stab this, this big ogre um, with his yakla thing. Um, I can That's find right. it. Um, ah, shit. Please, things off my shoulder. Um, um, bear with me. Da -da 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 -da. Yakla, yakla, yakla. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Oh, it's meant to be a, a, the second one. Sorry. Not that. All right. I'm okay with the uh, so... second one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, shoot with his second attack. Uh, use his crossbow. All right. And um, that would be a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that, sir? Uh, because you're in melee range with uh, the creature. No, I'm shooting a different target, though. Yeah, but you do have uh, a yeah. creature within five feet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so I need to roll again. Yeah. Yeah, mom. Can't target nothing, though. Oh, yeah, because you... All right, yep, still kills. There you go, it hits anyway. Yep. Um... That's his action, and then as his uh, his movement, he's going to move. Um, move don't down. move away from the ogre. Well, yeah, opportunity attack. True, cheat. Okay. Um, bonus action. I've got nothing. <laughs> yeah, can't really. I'll, I'll cast sanctuary on um, the friend next to me, Gallon. I think it is. All right. Target him and throw out that spell. Okay. Sanctuary cost. I would just want to not save it. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really do matter. So we're just you don't have to save it if it gets gushed on you. It's more about yeah. the attack. It's the other people attacking. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's... Using sanctuary on combatants doesn't make much sense to me because it dissolves as soon as you attack anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It depends when their attack is uh, there. All right. I feel like I need to get out of this house, so I'm going to move... First move here. Um, then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Uh, oh, target is. And I, when I'll do that, I'll also use my channel Divinity to get a plus 10 for a Guided Strike. All right. Uh, so I have that one up on a Guiding Bolt. At for uh, now we're going fancy third level. That's one shot as fuck. That didn't oh, give me a plus ten. So that's a nineteen. Yep, nineteen will hit. And you're so attacking. Overall this guy damage. Right that's alright, I did it. Normal sixty-six. That is more like it. Yep. Is he still alive? Uh let me apply that damage. Yes he is. All right, then I'm gonna move my spiritual weapon in f uh, next to me, All right. so or next to the ogre on the uh, like the top left, right, and I'm gonna yep. make it make an attack, which I can roll. Don't consume spell slots. Normal damage. That's another seven damage on top of it. 
Uh, you make the roll with advantage because uh, he was hit by guiding bolt. Roll. I'll just roll a twenty to achieve it. Quits. D twenty. That doesn't. Cool. And then I'm gonna take take another step forward <clears throat> to get close enough to keep me in melee range. Okay. With that, it's my turn. One hour of rolling dice for 24 seconds of a combat. <laughs> Alright, um... There are more... Getting a javelin thrown at ya. Oh. oh no! Hold on, I got... Uh, it rolled a okay. straight roll, so... Round it down? I've gotta roll one more time. Oh. Oh, yeah, so much miss. for that. So, reheal. There you go. Your health is back. Alright, this guy is going to go here. He is now visible. Oh, sorry, I skipped a pin. Okay, um, so Faithline's going to. Um, head back into the Ogre. Right. Um, and uh, as his action, he'll um, repair. Okay. So he's back to 35. That's it. Teague. Okay. Okay. 20 right there. Target this guy. Fireball. Or 15 fire damage. Oh, the big guy is dead. Whee! Who's targeting me? One of the ogres from the... Or orcs from the tower again? Wait a minute. I can use a warcaster? I got hit? Was that a disadvantage? I'm just asking. Because I didn't see any dice roll. Hello? DM. Okay. Are you muted? Oh, I was I muted. I'm sorry. Yes, so okay. the <laughs> orc up in the tower is targeting uh, Gallon. Okay, he hit? <laughs> yep. And so, okay. even though they're over there, they're actually right here in terms of distance. They're right where? On the ping. Right, oh, yeah, right where the ping is. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's so, why I was. Yeah. So he's okay, within so range. Okay, they're not. He's within range now. Okay, that's. Yeah. I didn't understand that. Yeah. So how can he? See, if I can't see him, how can he? See, or is that just the way the map's drawn? Because they're yes. here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you can see them over here. They're off to the side. Okay. Because they're, so they're on a closer, different level. They're closer than. Than originally, we thought. Or how high is the? Lateral, yeah. yes, but they are higher. They have elevation advantage. Which is a Pathfinder rule but that That's, we're not using. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yep, okay. so that arrow is going to strike true um, for 9 points of damage and a constitution saving throw for your concentration on your shield. Okay, state. but I have advantage on that. Yes, you do. Yep, on your okay. concentration saving. All right, I got to get my sheet back up. All right, and then... If you click the die in the uh, chat log, it should roll with advantage automatically. Okay, that's on abilities, right? Yeah, so... If you're going to go through the character sheet, yeah, abilities, click on Constitution, and it'll pop up asking 
ability or save and throw. Configure ability, okay. I'll just click on it, okay. It's a saving throw, and it's at advantage. I rolled 215, so I got a 17. So, that does that save? Yes, uh, it's... Well, uh, mute again. Yes, you do save. Okay. Half damage or 10 whatever is higher. No, no, this, what this does, it keeps up my shield. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, I still take but, my 9. Yeah, but concentration is half the damage or uh, 10 if the damage is lower than 20. Oh, well, I want to keep the shield up. Yeah, yeah, so you, you we got to know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Okay, so All right, Alan. we got this guy. He's pretty bloody. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, I need to find my spells. And my sheet's not coming up. I don't know. There it is. Spell book. Um, I'm going to toll the dead again. All right. Against uh, that guy. And uh, versatile damage. Did he hit? Okay, I did versatile, normal. Oh, didn't select a target. 19. Sorry. 19. I did select a target. 19 damage. Alright. 14 is is not 15 uh, is so he's going to take all that damage to die okay and then i'm going to as a bonus action yeah let me see what i got for a bonus action healing word spiritual weapon uh, oh, I got her healing word, shield of faith. Oh, I don't want to cast anything else, so I'm going to uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end my turn right there. All right. So All right. The ogres are dead. That's the big thing. <laughs> Get rid of the ogres. <laughs> From up above, another javelin is going to fly down <laughs> at Gallon. Okay. And that is going to miss. So it lands short. Dornor. I use my dash action to move closer to the orcs at the tower and take a normal shot with my short bow at the orc in the middle. Oof. Yep, that'll hit. For oh. Five. Five yeah. And afterwards I move a bit back out of his short range and and my turn there. Okay. Uh, there. All right. Uh, this one has seen what Spinel has done. It is going to avoid Spinel and is going to instead just engage with Javelin. After which. Oh. They're gonna land their hit. Oh, it gave me the thing. Okay, out of work. Yep. Able to maintain. Uh, this guy, however, knows what you're capable of. <laughs> They're gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> uh, this one also knows what you're capable of. They are also going to throw a javelin. Ah, a bunch of pussies. <laughs> Nobody does coming close. <laughs> uh, 
also going to move back. Aramen. Airman? Sorry, Mike muted again. Um, so I'll move here. And it's just the enemies on the east that we know about, guys. Oh, there's one down there too. Yeah, you got one down here that you're aware of, or able to see. Yeah. Okay. In which case, I'll um, move as close as I can to him with cover. Probably about there, I think. And I find two more and find my crossbow at um, this guy here. That one's yes. gonna miss. Okay. Um, and my bonus action, I won't use. Yeah, oh, that's my turn, I think. Uh, don't you have extra attack? Extra attack, but I've, but my crossbow has the loading property, so I don't think. Ah. I think that means I can't use it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. I, I'm kind of tired of keep dodging the javelins. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move closer. Can I move myself all the way around? There we go. And I don't have 35 feet, I only have 30 feet. And then I'm gonna. Fear of wounds on myself to uh, keep myself alive a little bit. Okay. Come on, it's just, just a flesh wound. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's just a flesh wound, but you know, sometimes you gotta be careful. Normal roll. There we go. Very nice. And uh, I just gonna command my spiritual weapon to come closer but it can't make it all the way here yep, totally so it's gonna be uh over here there we go and that is my turn movement action bonus action all right orc up in the tower well you came close and attacked the other one they're gonna attack Dornor. um Just out of range. So. Yes, I made sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. Tactical. Tactical move. That'll miss. Ooh, Aramin coming in with a fire bolt for some reason. Just random here. Sorry. All right. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Let's go ahead. Ooh, they're, gonna, they're gonna make their save, so they're gonna take half oh. for four points. Oh. Um, but you engaged, so they will engage. As they will bring their great axe down upon you. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fape it. Okay. Uh. So. If 40 foot is there. Fuck it. Oh, this one is right before me. Cool. Um, how much? It's a bit far. Okay, so I'll use the dash action to get here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Teak. Okay, let me go down a little bit, see if I see anything right there. I'll get this work here. All right. And I will. Hmm. What do I want to do? Where's my spell? I'm going to do. Uh, made of magic. Quicken spell. Oh, come on. And I'm going to cast. Corching Ray. Right. At. Third level. Four and just bolts of fire. Uh, 
one. Hmm. I suck. Two. Don't you get it pluses to those? That's a net twenty. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, but not way it needs to be. And then I'm gonna use my action to cast Firebolt. Uh, so that was With action. Three. Yeah, I use my metal magic. To, I use my metal magic, and it turns my casting into a bonus spell. And then I can use my action and cast my cantrip. Oh, okay. um, that makes sense. Except you should have one more scorching ray as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well that Firebolt hit him on that one. And then I'll use my last scorching ray. And here goes nothing. Mixed fire attacks. Two sevens. And that's him right there. <laughs> All right. That'll be enough to finish him off. Enter. All right. Short blue guy is looking really bad, but he knows who he's hunting. Dodge, you're really stealing all my kills here. <sighs> As again, that arrow falls short. <laughs> Man, these guys suck at this. <laughs> I mean, I, I did make it hard for them. On purpose. You don't have that high of an armor class. <laughs> Alright, this orc is just going to go for the easy route and attack Faepin. Oof. As he just slams into him with his axe. Oh, I see why. It for some reason, it is subtracting thirty-three from Faepin right off the bat, bringing him back down to two. This is a point. <laughs> All right, temporary hit points. Uh, what brings it up? Thirty-three minus six, twenty-eight. Or no, twenty-seven. So twenty-seven. I'm just going to give you twenty-seven temporary hit points for Faepin because that's easier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because it keeps reducing it back down to two. All right. Gallon. Okay. I am going to target him with chill touch. Okay. Which means I get to target his buddy. Yes. And with how you... With how Except your get... feature posted, um, I'll let you do it either one attack roll or both attack rolls. Your choice. I'm not sure what you mean by one or both. Because if I hit either. with one, they, they both hit or they whatever. Yeah, that's okay, what we're saying. It's your choice. Do you want it to be one attack roll or do you want to roll two separate attack rolls? I'll just roll one. Okay. All right, spell book. I don't want bonus actions. Chill touch. And I target, I think, I, yeah, I got him targeted. 18, so he hits. Oof, yep, that's going to hit. And then it's normal damage, so it's 2d8. So it's 12 damage to both of them. Him and this guy. Well, a little overkill for the one guy because he only had one hit point left. <laughs> okay, so we got <laughs> both of them gone. And since I'll just let Durnar take care of the last guy, I'm going to move. Now, is this area here, it's is regular. that rough terrain? <laughs> no. Or is that regular? Regular. Okay. So I'm going to move 30 feet into here. Oh, damn it. All right. And then I'm going to cast my bonus action again. I'm going to cast the uh, my uh, spir spiritual weapon. Spiritual okay. weapon... You, if you still have it up, you don't have to move it. Well, no, I because he's too far away. So I'm going to cast a new one. Um. Okay. There. I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon. Cast a spell. 19. Oh, yeah. So that hits, and it's a 1d8 plus 4. 9 damage. Alright. And let's put the... Uh, Weapon right here. Right there? Okay. Yeah. So if he runs, I can chase him down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Dornor. Where there was three, uh, there is now one. Yeah. Um, since he is just slightly out of range, uh, I move up a bit and uh, make a short bow attack from right here. Oh, a crit. <laughs> I Good think that's job. the first crit tonight. <laughs> Eight. That's it. That makes 12 damage. Okay. And Ooh. I see right here. As your arrow pierces his head, and somehow he is still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I didn't have sneak attack. That would have been good. Sneak attack would have finished him. He is at one hit point. <laughs> oh fuck! Knees <laughs> at him. There are times. Gallon, why did you why... knowledge? <laughs> Gallon, why couldn't you take the back two? As because this, I couldn't. Uh, they had to be five feet apart. Was the problem? I couldn't get the outside. Orc <laughs> brings down his great axe, striking Fay Pine as well. Did he hit him? Yep. Uh, Oh, poor Fay Pine. With that. Uh, he can repair. It's all good. Araman. Okay. Um. um. Yeah. So Araman's going to get in here. Um. Uh, target this guy. All right. He's Yakwa. This is. Can he? Can he move to the other guy? Oh, I'll just oh, he can attack again. What the hell? That's easy. Hey, this is. <laughs> um. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Uh. And I'll. Yeah, I'll cast. Branding smart. Oh no, I can't do that. That's a bonus action. Yeah, I can. Bonus action. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Which one's looking worse out of these two? Uh, the one you tried attacking just now. So Branding Smite, it uh, affects your weapon, and so next time you make an attack, if it hits, then you'll use your Branding Smite. Right, oh, okay, so, I'll use it next time then. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, Let's get me uh, I don't see anybody anymore. So I'm just continuing uh, my, my would, warp of destruction. I would say you did see people run away uh, on the other side of the shrine. Yes, but I could also just go exploring inside. I, you could. As a bonus action, I move my spiritual weapon to the entrance here. Okay. And I'm going to start stepping through the rubble. Ooh, door! Hmm. I'm a, I'll take the dash action. Uh, Can I open the door or is that an action? Yeah. Can I dash through it? <laughs> You can charge. I am a big uh, minotaur. You can charge through it because, yeah, your minotaur, uh, you have a attack with your uh, bonus action. I am. Um, 45 uh, feet. All right. There we go. And that's where I ended. Yep. As you come into the uh, little room that had the breakaway room or breakaway wall, uh, you saw that there was a small little fireplace uh, and that there were a few loose beds with moldy mattresses. The room itself stink. Um, and as you crashed through that door, you found yourself self in a uh, large chapel-like room where humanoid bones litter the dusty floor as there is a hole in the ceiling letting in uh, sparkles of light dustily shine through uh, where a rope hangs from the bell tower uh, rope ending right about in here um, now with that we'll go over to this individual's turn <laughs> the last two last, duking it out outside. Last ditch effort. 
Um, oh, that's why. They are going to go ahead and try and attack Durnor. They are going to try so hard. And they know they are dying. Tried so hard and get so far, but in the end, it doesn't, it doesn't even, even matter. They're going to make an athletics check as they're going to jump off the tower to try and oh, oof. throw their javelin as well as they can. Um, and how far? How far did you drop? <laughs> uh, the drop Excellent question. For them, would be about twenty-five feet. Oof! They are dead. They've got one hit point. They're dead anyways. <laughs> um, Wait a minute, we're not that smart. <laughs> but he is going to see if he can get Durnor at least. So as he is dropping, I'm going to say if he rolls above a 15 on his athletics, I'm going to give him advantage on the attack. Um, if he rolls less than a 10, it's going to be at disadvantage. Sound good? Okay. okay. All right. Seventeen. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. All right, but he does die Ooh. regardless. So, just a matter of how much damage, or if damage. And he's gonna get to roll advantage. Attack. Dodge as you take half damage, so you take two points of piercing <laughs> two. damage. <laughs> two points for me, one point for him. Exactly. He takes less damage than you, huh? <laughs> but he dies. <laughs> but he's dead. <laughs> count, count the small blessings. All right, with that, we are on to the next person. Vaping. Okay. Um, he's gonna repair. All right. Um. Yeah, he's gonna repair. Um. And yeah, that's it. And how much is he repairing? Oh, I didn't do it. There we go. 11. 11. So, plus 31. Yep. All right, Teak. Okay, so I'm going to move. See if I see anything. You got those two to the right. I'm going to waste my time. Just fireball one of them. Okay. Miss. That's it. Yep. Oh, there is still one orc around somewhere? There's, there's two, two, actually. Two. Oh, two. Right, Where? I feel like there's more somewhere hidden inside. True. One's right here. <gasps> they don't like vaping. For some reason. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, this, oh, that's gonna miss. We'll be back in a quick second. Now. Yeah. All right, Gallon. Okay, Gallon is gonna move. Oh, I gotta get the right thing up. So Gallon's gonna move to here. Oh darn, they're not close enough. Ah, that was well. We can try this. Um. I'm gonna try the the toll toll of the dead okay. on this guy. All right, and that'll be uh, regular damage. Yeah, I just gotta let's see. I gotta get the right thing up. Toll of the dead. Um, okay, he has to roll a wisdom saving throw for ten damage. And he saved. So he takes no, no damage. damage. Yep. Okay, well then I'm going to use my bonus action to use the uh, spiritual weapon to attack this guy. All right. Now that is that does not cast another spell. Correct. So it would should pop up asking if you want to consume a spell slot, and you just toggle that off. All right. How do I how do I do that? If I cast spell. Yep. So just cast say no. Yeah. So when it pops up. Consume. Kind of... Oh, consume spell. Okay. Just cast spell again. Cast spell. Okay, it did a 25. Sweet. And then damage. normal damage. Back 11 damage. Alright. 
He is like a twenty going. feet. All right, and then I'm gonna move my move my weapon to right there. Okay. There no are. And that that ends my turn. Uh, da da. That's thirty five already. Um. Uh, 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 I move up to here. And uh, surprised that there's uh, still a combat in, uh, going on in here, I uh, use my uh, I use my bonus action for a dash, and um, instead of an arrow, I summon a shard of energy in my uh, right hand that usually draws an arrow. But I sling this shard at the first orc that I see over there, and that is. 10 psychic damage for them. And that will kill that one. Oh! There's still so much more going on in here! <laughs> Alright. There's all that for you. Yeah, that is my turn. Oh, yep. Alright. This one is going to do one thing. And that is attack. Die. <laughs> Died core. <laughs> He does one thing. Die. I'm gonna attack Fapen for 14 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Oof. Okay. That hurt. And run. <laughs> does he? Does Fapen so, get an yes, opportunity does. attack? Yeah. And okay. does, what about my spiritual weapon? Does he get his attack as well? I've never run into that one. That one is always an interesting question. I'm going to say yes. Okay. So, uh, Fapen and the Spiritual Weapon get Attack of Opportunities. Ooh. That's one. Ouch. Six. Fapen gets a very good bite on him as he turns to run. And the weapon? The weapon. Don't consume a spell slide. Cast a spell. I hit with a 16. Mm -hmm. Yep, that sure Normal does. damage. And another 9. Alright. <laughs> Turns to run. Turns Bad. to run and gets <laughs> hammered. <laughs> well, there's one thing you can I do. I told you. Attack Fate Pine. Nope, it's die. <laughs> I told you the only thing he does is dying. Nope. Uh, with that, we are out of combat. As you all oh, know, the door was open. <laughs> as you guys keep toggling it back and forth. Okay. <laughs> I just keep moving through doors. Okay, who's we're missing somebody? It seems like. Yeah, our Aramin is staying outside of, at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Right. One room at a time. So, uh, the room to the right. Um, as you see that. This room has mostly been collapsed. The furnishings in the area have completely been destroyed. Uh, even the south side of the wall has um, crumbled in. You do see that a good amount of cooking supplies has been stored in here haphazardly as it seems other residents, um, either past, present, or uh, recently deceased, have <laughs> stored their food storage here. Now, as for the south room, uh, as you step in, you see that this is a more religious altarish room, where the six stone pillars brace the vaulted ceiling of this temple, the floor of which is buried with under a thick layer of dust. Also covered in dust are four humanoid skeletons in tattered priestly vestments, laying near the stone altar situated in an alcove under four narrow windows. Carved into the front of the altar is a humanoid eye. <laughs> uh, Araman, what are we doing outside? Uh, trying to get back in. Trying to get inside? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As you guys would all know, there is rumor of great treasure to be had somewhere around this temple, but with 
all the unknown residents, who knows if that treasure still actually does remain. Okay, this room only has the one door? Yes. Okay, uh, did we lose Dornor? Uh, I'm in a side room, and apparently I... Oh. Yeah, uh, let me join up with you. The back, entire back of the hall is collapsed. Yeah, I mean, we apparently. might want to pick up the food later, but uh, I was going to suggest we've lost some spell slots, lots of hit points. We're right at the end of the two hours. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Teak, investigation or religion? What are you looking for specifically there? Um, the more interested in the eye, and then I'm going to say the whole. Okay. Um, what the eye, if you're trying to like figure out if it's got some sort of mechanism to it or, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mechanism is what you're looking for. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Investigation then. As you're kind of uh, waving the dust off uh, to get a clearer look, it doesn't really reveal anything, so you have to get up a little closer, getting your hands on it. And that's where things get weird. Oh, great. A uh, trap. <laughs> you feel yourself looking down on yourself, on the group. And then you're outside of the, te the temple, outside of the shrine. You're looking down upon it as your soul is pull being pulled up higher and higher as it turns to look towards the mountains where you see a white dragon fly quickly past you. And as it flies past, you find yourself almost tethered to it as you're pulled behind it until you finally f Whoa. follow it to a place where now you see a path leading up to this keep, up in the mountains, where the dragon rests. The rest of you see Teak fall to the ground after touching this altar. You good? Teak? Yeah. Teak? Teak? Teak, you there? You okay? I want to make a medicine check on him. Go for it. 